We've had 10 weeks and 96 games so far. But in the next three days of Super Week action, we'll find out who goes to the playoffs and who has to fight through the summer promotion tournament for a chance to return. So each of the Super Weeks throughout the season have been extremely important to all teams, really. The very first week of the season being a Super Week kind of sets the pace for where you're going to end up. Because CLG has struggled with inconsistency for so long. They're on a longer hot streak than they ever have been, really, since picking up Dexter. But honestly, the inconsistency is still there. The last time we started to kind of crown them, they went and had a bad Super Week. They went 2-2. Two and two. They have to perform once again. If they had a 4-0 Super Week, maybe I'll say they're there before playoffs, but they're still not quite. Super Week, it was definitely a huge week for us because the standings were so close and we knew that we had to perform well to finish in like a top four, top five spot. Gonna be Team Coast versus Curse. This is a tiebreaker match with both teams currently sitting in fifth place. Boy Boy is right on the uh, Zion yeah. Spartan. How could this have ever gone correctly for them? Boy Boy yeah. goes over the wall and use him out. Kobe, they would have the advantage. Forces the pass, but he still gets the hook. He gets into it, the box, the play goes down. Popped off immediately, Quas gets hit. He throws on Dominus to start the fight and get that area of effect damage in. Boy Boy is very low, keeping eyes on him. Almost gets shifter and the Zanyas comes into play very big. Dominic goes right past over to Wiz Fusion. The kill is there, shifter should go down. One last bow breaker, Dominic oh! is attack. It's going to be the slice, flash and dice from Quas. Oh my god! Get out of range on that one. Like we said, these gap closers are gonna be huge. Another 35 minute game on the day, a super week. Curse coming out big after that initial engagement. In the um, my favorite player is actually Double Lift. His play style is really, really aggressive, and also if he takes risks, um, it doesn't always work out for him, but the risks I think are usually worth it. Guys, it's time for our third game of the day Counter Logic Gaming versus Cloud9. Well, here comes the hook's gonna land on a sneaky, the barrier's gonna come through sneaky, will go down, first blood goes to Dexter to land on the way out. Donovan Media Spike comes through, gets played! Oh! The chunk gets played! Medios has nowhere to go! Aperomu LCS big play! To the back side, mid turn's gonna go down. Here go! Well, Medios with the shuttle, he jumps on in. Big take there, the front line, huge AoE goes down. He's gonna take the damage first. Two man taunt in the back line. Ball's still there, double and flow, he goes down to high. Ball's still going down, finds Aperomu, double kill, triple kill now. As wow. four people fall over, mass kills for C9. Big now, Baron right here. Big Rocket pushing well, Chen. looking for it. They gotta just go in. Well, here's the ulti coming in high, looks in for Link. Link taking a whole bunch of pain, silence as well. Down he goes. Two kills so far for Cloud9. Looking at now at the end of the front lines. Can he win this in a three versus five? Still running away. Medios on the chase though. Slow comes out, kill comes in. Just goes down right away. Sneaky wants retribution. Can he find it? Link puts the poke down. Afromu in the front lines. Dexter there as well. Lemonation gets hooked up by Afromu. He goes down. Two kills a double. If the ult comes out, Sneaky has nowhere to go. Triple kill for double it. Now it's on the balls. He kills up Dexter, but he's got nowhere to go. The push comes in. Is it going to be the quadra for double it? Yes, it is. Forced to run away with this one. The end, huge damage. Takes the land oh. back high. Gets hooked up. Takes the shuttle. He stays alive. Looks for Abramu. Pops the Zonia's sneaky force back as well. Half HP. Oh. Lower health bars high. One hit from dead gets out. C9 forced away. Link has ult. Nine. Going to ignore CLG go a bit and go for the Nexus. Sneaky tries to stay alive. He's a Trinity Force. Prox flashes. Gets the kill. My favorite thing about CLG would probably be like that they're one of the oldest teams uh, in the business. I've been a fan of Hotshot and Double Lift and Chowster kind of since day one. Of course, Double Lift's the only one left, but you know, you got to stay true to your team. So it's Team Curse versus Counter Logic Gaming. So far, CLG is 3-0 against Curse in the split. Great early positioning on it. Boy Boy takes a hit. Here comes the, the all stand united in on a Dexter. Is he gonna make it though? Yes, Nian is in the fight. And it looks like they're gonna try to get this one down strong. Dominate is at, and everybody in the pit is on Nian. They are trying to get the focus down, but not enough damage to really secure any of the kills. Aperamu just on the edge. Can he thread the needle? Gets the play in, gets himself in range for the hook, and he hits it through the turret. Nian is there to help finish off the kill as well, but they're still trading back and forth. Quas and double if now. 2v1 is Bunny Food. Who almost gets into range. Link is in a bad spot. They're baiting themselves back into this fight. It's not there. Maybe CLG now coming in from the side. They may re-engage. Quas gets the taunt. And he is going to throw down Dominus. Dexter comes in from the back. Is forced to all the defense out. And he may be able to get back in. Cop falls. We already have Afro move down on the fight as well. And it looks like they are going to keep trying to chase. That was a huge hit coming in from Double Lift. And they are going to keep going one after the other. 
Oh, okay, so they are going to go oh, in yeah. for this. That was a lot of back and forth, but they choose to go at each other's throat. Nian's going to be the first one going down as the focus is on the bunny boo-boo from Dexter. They're going to turn back for the fight. Cop does not know he's right there, and he gets a startled surprise. Trying to take down Dexter. The headshot was the next one to proc out, and the red buff keeps him in line to get killed. Boy Boy's going to get up here. Now this is big. A nice peacemaker coming over the wall. Cop very low on mana, but has that red buff. They could get double lift on this. Tries to turn the fight around. Oh. Gets the hook from Afro Boo, but it's not enough. But they get a Nexus turret, so it's even more than they want, apparently. Another one goes down as CLG was tunneling on saving just the inhibitor. It's exactly what Curse wanted by sticking around there. They're just brute forcing down this turret right now. See how much they can get. This could be a Curse victory. A game of chaos was the game. It's a great feeling to have those kind of fans that are not... that kind of feel with you for wins and losses, but they, that are not entirely dependent on you winning to uh, still you know, like you or follow you. Um, because that means that they like something else about you, um, about your personality, that they can connect with you on another level than just, you know, I like this, this person because he's successful. Counter-Logic Gaming versus Evil Geniuses. Here goes down though, both of what they're holding. Oh, the clockwork okay. wind up, and he sticks out his big toe and gets the kill on the pole belter. Play by EG in the bottom lane, still going on it from the side of CLG. The calling comes out, and he's oh! gonna be a no on the last shot because of that passive. Dexter though, super deep now, and he oh, is dear. by himself. He used the, he didn't oh, want to go that way. Goes back and forth, tries to do the give and go with himself. It's going to be a big bomb coming out from Pole Belter on the passive after the Mega Inferno. The chase is still on, the pink ward's there, the dissonant teleport speed in. up, and they may just give two kills now to Link. They actually close it out onto Snoopy before he gets there. CLG is picking up a lot for a little right now. Nice shockwave, oh. they kick it back once again. You are not safe from Dexter anywhere. Close to CLG's base, a nice little wombo. CLG basically, the amount of ward coverage that CLG has is almost like playing with a mad pack on. The burnout's gonna help a great dissonance when he landed off of the Dragon's Descent to keep Burnout going for you too early, but he is able to solo out on the Crepo. Uh, Pobelter's coming in, double this that I had it, guys. Go do it. Because the Nexus falls just under 30 minutes. CLG. Just throwing out there, you got your makeup done, you're sitting there right there, okay, game's up in five minutes, you need to go now. And then you put on your thing, your headset with the white noise going, and then you see the fans just roaring at the opposing team just before they even start playing. And then you start thinking, oh, sh uh, I don't really know if anybody's cheering there out, out there for me. Fourth place, Team Dignitas versus third place, Counter Logic Gaming. And Jack Dick needs this win to secure the fourth seed. Counter-Logic Gaming have been a dangerous team since Dexter joined, and with Dignitas still adjusting to their recent roster change, CLG think it will give them the edge they need. And it looks like Kiwi Kid, level two, he just blew his flash on the hook. He's gonna be in the wrong spot at the right time for CLG. First blood. Also getting pushed out of mid lane since nobody else is there to help him. And he eats one to the face. Side of the map. Oh, man. And another kill coming in on a golden glue. That's a flash. I don't think he's getting out of this one. Oh, going for a relentless pursuit. He throws on the ultimate. Calling is going to be just a little bit. I don't know if he has enough. Double it flashes out of the hit coming in from Cruiser. And they're going to be able to turn this ardent blaze hitting on the side of it. Brings more to the fight. Kiwi Kid gets one hit on a double lift. He's barrier and flashes down for the previous engagement. Gets himself a little too close there. Shielded the barrier down. The kick did not kill him or would not have killed him. The Nexus turret falls. The Nexus is going to go down. And CLG looks to win the fastest game of the North American Spring Split in 2014. They're going for the kills, though. They're letting the minions do the work. They're going to be able to get these kills 9 to 1. The Nexus falls at 21 35. Our fastest game of the split. Yeah, that's one way to finish the regular season for CLG. They are completely back to their rotational gameplay. The scrims are open. It's serious time right here for CLG, and they obliterated. The last uh, Super Week of the year, the last week of the season, is really uh, your last call, kind of. Um, it's where you can separate yourself. The playoff spots can be determined. The relegation spots can be locked up or, or uh, you can keep yourself out of them. XDG Gaming versus Team Solo Mid. And Jad Evil Genius's win over Curse. The pressure is starting to build for XDG here and their battle for seventh place. It's a big one. 93% of you think that TSM 
Yeah, come out on top of this match. Oh, Dyrus is eating all of the abilities as, as well as the turret. It's gonna be Zuna picking up two kills. It's Smithy has to get the kill here. That rocket could be enough for the follow-up. One last attack and it was the clockwork. I honestly don't think there are too many TSM chances game. It was like probably too intense for them to like just fathom and then they're they're just be like just cheering in general like clapping or oh that and kind of they thing. They don't want it. No! That new flash is in a little miscommunication. Great shockwave from the backside on Man Cloud. Dyrus is into the fight along with Odd One. They are still trying to do the DPS. Nobody's touching Zuna. 67 second timers on the clock here for Dyrus. Pearson looking at 50. But against TSM I guess the crowd would be a factor but we as professional players should be used to that by now or at least we should know that these are fans and uh, whether they're for you or not like they're part of the game and you just have to adapt to it 57 minutes on the clock 